Okay, let's go to a little more deeper discovery of our new soundboard. And we'll start from the menus which we have on the displays of right now. So starting with home, it's over here. I already showed we have activated uh, low cut. Uh, we have phantom power on, we have compressor, but just let's go a little deeper and see it. First of all, as I already told, we can easily access any of the menus just put by pushing the button view in any of these squares on the channel strip and that will automatically jump to the window which we want to control. So for example, that we have input configuration, we have uh, dynamics, we have EQs, and we have bus sounds, which basically uh, as well as we have a uh, main section of the channel, basically which describes where we're sending the signal. So starting from home shows us layout of the entire channel. We can have here insert which is not activated as of right now because we're not using any of the outboard equipment. We're going to the next step is configuration, uh, basically which have, first of all, input gain, input gain, then we have uh, low cut frequency, we can select the source to which assign the particular channel, we have delay of each channel, and we have uh, insert, Basically, this insert could be assigned as for pre preset effect processors, which already installed in the soundboard, or we can use auxiliary channels, which uh, analog inputs and outputs on the back uh, side of the board. It's pretty easy to assign. Just basically select and click and push on the button, and then we'll basically reconfigure that. Another thing, the inserts we can select where insert is uh, plugged virtually. So we can go pre-EQ, post-EQ, select pre-EQ or post-EQ insert. Uh, here we still have a delay. We can, so all from this uh, line of buttons, we can select it and basically really easily access it. Another good feature which allow us to link the channels which goes absolutely, for example, I'm trying to run the stereo on the first two channels, so I could push link. That will ask me for confirmation. I say OK. And so since we selected link, so basically that's automatically, if you can hear that already, it switched the panning one channel uh, to the left, another channel to the right. I'm switching, I'm plugged into the first channel, and you can hear that, and you should hear that in the left. I will deselect this. So unlink just by pushing this button. I'll bring the panning back in the center. We should be good to go. So as far as we can see so far, so good, very easy. Another thing, as I already shown, we can rename the channels from either from iPad, either from computer, as well, we can basically just uh, click utility on selected channel and we have access and we can dial whatever we wish, the names, the colors, and so on. So which is absolutely pretty easy. So let's go back to home. 